Now we're going to take a look at how to make Luna's little wool coat. And for this you'll need at least a quarter meter of cut across the width of felt or non-fraying fabric, full width of the fabric. You'll need your pattern pieces from book one. And I would suggest, just to make things easier, that you have cut two sleeve pieces, two paper pattern sleeve pieces, and two paper pattern front panels and facings. And that would just make it easier for cutting out. It means you can have the pattern pieces all laid out. Prepare your fabric by removing any uh, creases and fold it over, cross the width so that you have your straight edges together and you have a fold. And if we look at our pattern pieces, the back piece has the fold symbol on it a little boxed arrow there. So we'll place our back piece to the fold and we'll just lay out all our other pieces as economically as possible. Now, because the felt does not have a right or wrong side, you can actually lay these pieces exactly as I have them there. If you're using a different fabric, maybe that had a print on it or has a right and a definite right and wrong side, you would have to flip that to make sure, and the easiest way to see you're doing it right is to lay them as they would be, as if they were constructed. There's your neckline, that's your shoulder seam, as if they were um, constructed. And that way you make sure that you have all the pieces lying in the right direction. And keep them as, just keep them nice and straight. We have a side panel. And I'm going to do the same with the sleeve pieces. And just again, if it was a piece of fabric you were using that had a print or a definite right and wrong side, you would have to make sure that you reverse the pattern pieces so that they're just like that. Okay, collar, sleeve tab. And I'm just gonna pop that up there because I like to use the fabric, keep as much as we can be, as mean as possible with it. Pin all those in place. Cut out with good sharp scissors, nice long even strokes and just watch at where you have notch markings. These are the little in cut triangles, blackened, you see them here? They're on the front, they're on the side panel pieces for matching. There's one here on the back where the pleat is going to go in the back. And these, this, these notches here, for example, these are for matching where to lay in the welt pockets. This is for the collar piece going in this notch here. So those match points are important for getting, for fitting in all the pieces. So pin all that in place, trim it out carefully with your nice sharp scissors. And we'll be back to have a look at our first stage of construction, which will be putting in the welt pocket into the side panel and joining that to the front. Have fun. <laughs> 